Keep your heads up and your lights on, shining bright for Jesus Christ. Here's the verse of the day, and it's Jude 125. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Yes, all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, forever. And His timing is always perfect. So I'm going to make this real quick. I wasn't even going to do a video. I'm about to be on the road. And I just recently went over this a couple times and in a live stream. For you, family, all glory to our Father. And it's the book of Enoch, chapter 60. In the 50th year, in the 7th month, on the 14th day of the month of the life of Enoch. He had a vision, and he saw the heaven of heaven shaken violently, and the host of the Most High, and the angels a thousand thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand were extremely disturbed. And when you go to Hebcal today, October 1st, it's Tishri 16. So the seventh month and the 14th day has already passed. That's why I went over it previously with you. And a lot of watchmen go over the Enoch calendar, but you never physically see it with your own eyes. You just hear people talking about it. But we got blessed today, family. And like I said, I got to make this real quick. So here's the breakdown. I've been sitting on an Enoch calendar for a long time, and I didn't even realize it because I skimmed through half of the book and I didn't see the calendar. And then today, I heard Jesus Christ tell me, go get that Enoch book. And he led me to the back of the book. And in the back of the book is the Enoch calendar family. Praise God. So I made a quick rough draft for you. And here it is. It's off the charts. All glory to our Father. And since Enoch had this vision on the seventh month on the 14th day, and since it was Enoch's vision, it only makes sense that he would be going by his calendar on the seventh month and the 14th day. And this is beyond gigant to enormous, and here's why. Because it lines up with the signs. And I'll zoom in. And you can see on the Enoch calendar, the seventh month, day one, the Feast of Trumpets. On the Enoch calendar, it was on September 20th. And remember, Israel is 10 hours ahead of the West Coast. So on the Enoch calendar, September 19th, the Revelation 12 sign. So the Revelation 12 sign on the Enoch calendar was on the eve of the Feast of Trumpets, family. And on the Enoch calendar, the Day of Atonement was on the supermoon, September 29th. And on the Enoch calendar, the seventh month and the 14th day when Enoch seen the heavens shake violently is October 3rd. And that's when Russia's having their nuclear test. And on the Enoch calendar, the Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot, doesn't start until October 4th when America's having their FEMA alert test. And that's why I'm doing the video at 8.40 p.m., because when the rapture happens, the heavens shake violently. And the anniversary of that is the day after tomorrow. So I had to give you this heads up now. Am I saying it's the rapture? No. Could it be the rapture? Yes. And if we're still here, the annular solar eclipse on October 14th will be on the 7th month and the 25th day. 10 days after the first day of Sukkot on the Enoch calendar. So I'm hopeful, and you should be too, because Jesus Christ is coming immediately. So keep your heads up and your lights on and live in love, mercy, forgiveness, kindness, patience. And like Jesus Christ said, the signs of his coming will be in the sun, the moon, and the stars. So I'll wrap it up with one right here. And it's right inside the woman, sunned mania. And it's 1424 Sundmania. 
And in Strong's Greek 14.24, the definition is a setting as of the sun. By implication, the western region usage, a setting of the sun, hence the west. Because the sun sets in the west. And remember, the comet Nishimura means to go west. Sund mania, family, a setting of the sun. And when you go through the days, if we're still here after the seventh month and the 14th day on the Enoch calendar, and we get to this eclipse, they're calling the Great American Eclipse on the 14th. That's what it looks like. It's right next to Sund mania. And Celia Cruz is on the other side, Heavenly Cross. So keep your heads up, family. Keep shining bright.